Hey, welcome back to Muckle Farm. You see the horse turning in the background. One of the mini horses is not acting right. She's laying down. I do hear gut sounds and I've given her banamine, so I'm not really thinking colic. Sorry, that's gate makes a lot of noise. Not really thinking colic because she's not wanting to roll, not biting at her sides. Normal respiratory rate. But something's not right because she just keeps laying down. Here's a picture of it from earlier. Someone will grab her and get to the vet. Normally she'd be out here with Patty eating. But as you can see, she's elected to lay down again. It doesn't look like she's rolling. Not showing any signs of biting at her sides. Someone will get a halter on her and get her down there. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when I get to the trailer. She doesn't like to go anywhere without Patty. So I may have to come back and catch Patty and put her in the trailer just to get Christy to go. But something's just not right with little girl. So we'll hustle down to the vet and figure it out. All right, the fact that she just hopped right up in the trailer without any argument is a little concerning. She obviously doesn't feel good because she normally will not go anywhere without the other horse. All right, sorry if the video is a little bit shaky. When I have a horse that I think is in a colic situation, I'm not worried about GoPros or anything else. I grabbed what I needed to get this horse to the vet because I had to move a trailer to hook up to this one. And if you're wanting to board for other people or run a farm as a business, well, a farm with livestock as a business, that is, you have to understand these things are going to happen, and this takes priority. Everything I have to do for the farm, I have to go get the sawdust for the barn. I've got a lot of other stuff to get done. None of that is as important as taking care of this horse. And while I am equipped to handle a lot of stuff, when a horse is in a colic situation, and I don't know for sure that's what this is, the vet is who has to see this horse. I can do what I can. I gave her banamine, which is the first step. But with her continually laying down, She's got to be seen by someone who's a professional. I don't know how to tube a horse to relieve gas buildup in the stomach. If you don't relieve gas buildup in the stomach, it will rupture and they will die. A friend of mine, that happened to his horse. He was out of town. Several of us were over there dealing with it. We could not get the horse to the vet in time. And the horse ended up dying. It was a very old horse, which with a colic, it was already in trouble as it is. But getting a horse to a vet is a priority, or getting a hold of a vet, if they think that the horse needs to be tubed to get the air out of his stomach, introduce some water and some mineral oil, then they're the ones that can do it. So you gotta get them down there if you wanna save them. Time is of the essence of these things. Now this horse had a colic recently, which was very mild, and I was able to handle it at the farm, but at the same time, I was on the phone dealing with the vet at the same time. And we made the decision that the horse didn't need to come in based on her symptoms. But if you're going to do this as a business, just be prepared. Someone's got to be around to handle these things. And that someone's almost always going to be you. Well, here we are. I'm not going to try to video while I'm inside. We'll just uh, update you when I come out. Well, that's a very good sign. Anytime one's colicking, that's exactly what you want them to do. All right, we're leaving the vet's office. She did get a tube in her stomach with mineral oil and water electrolytes, which is pretty much the best treatment and standard treatment for a horse with colic. She was in a mild colic. She feels a lot better now. I did not bother filming while I was inside because I didn't want to mess with it while I was dealing with her. We're on our way back to the farm. Okay, well, I've got Christy back in a stall. She seems to be doing fine. She's wanting to get out with the rest of them but she needs to stay in for just a little while. I've got the big trailer, and now I'm going to get busy on the farm chores. I'm headed to the sawmill now to get a load of sawdust for the stalls. And then i got a lot more stuff to do since I get back. I didn't get a chance to clean the barn this morning because I was dealing with her. So a lot to get done, but that's just how it is when you're on a farm. Until next time, thanks for watching.